in this <coughs> order form. It's gonna be here soon, yeah. And I do have my four anteriors as a temporary pontex chosen as a second option here. And also I need to choose the model builder, the um, unsectioned uh, way of, of the model. Uh, because if we choose the sectioned uh, or the ditched model, it means we will uh, print out the, um, the dies or segments of the model, which is not working for our case. And uh, we need to choose the unsectioned model, the sort option in the uh, model builder. Also, if we have any clinical pictures, we could click on this green uh, plus to add clinical pictures into the case. And we need to take care about the object type is gonna be digital impression. Um, yeah, because if we choose the model, there are gonna be no way how to choose the model builder step. Again, temporary pontic, unsectioned model, clinical pictures. And if you have the face scan, you could add this face scan in add additional scans. Actually, I do have them. Actually, I do have even more than just face scan. I have some guides in this case and we will go through this process as well. I will show you everything here. After that, we need to click OK and import scans, take away the, the face scan and the guides and I have my workflow bar on the top of the screen and currently I'm on the preparation step, but anytime I could come back to the order form to make any changes uh, if I need it. And on the preparation step, we have some sub steps and the current one is the occlusal alignment when I prefer to use the set with, point, uh, with points uh, option and just click on the uh, posterior second molar, the uh, central between two centrals and the opposite side on the second molar in the palatal uh, cusp and pull down a bit, a bit the, um, the occlusal uh, plane uh, to make sure the outlines are fitting uh, teeth approximately in the right position. Yeah, if we need to do adjustment, we could use the red uh, handles or we could turn it to the buckle to use the blue uh, point to shift it left, right or up, down, scan. Let's go to the segmentation step. And here, what we need to do, we need to put the margins, the actually the segmentation lines all over our four interiors or um, any teeth we wanna to uh, virtually extract. This is the step of the virtual extraction of the teeth. And um, because we are working only on the four interiors, this is the reason why uh, we have only four out, uh, outlines or segmentation lines here. If we need to modify the lines, we could either click nearby to modify po po position of the line or just draw it. And uh, we do have some uh, tools here to initialize the margin lines or segmentation lines. Uh, the very first one is to just click on the top of the tools and software will define this uh, segmentation line uh, in the neck position. The next one is the click on the margin, means we need to click not on the top of the tools, but on the margin somewhere. And it will do the same automatically to define the margin. And also we have the manual drawing, which means we could choose the dot by dot option to put around, um, uh, put our spline around the T's. After the uh, segmentation lines are on, 
we are ready to hit next to come to the sculpt gingiva step and uh, do some kind of uh, gingiva plastic to see how our uh, soft tissue level will look like uh, remove it a bit in some specific areas like uh, near the neck like like this and um, because I need to have approximately the same level uh, of my left side over the uh, right side of the of this scan and uh, yeah I could move uh, our, my soft tissue a bit deeper to clarify this uh, this, this gingiva shape a bit yeah depressed a bit pull it uh, up a bit because of uh, um, the lengths of the teeth I wanted to have. Yeah, anytime I could uh, make then the uh, 2D cross section and do some measurements like this to see how much I just opened the, uh, the root of this, uh, of this lateral. Anatomy design, when we, uh, we have the smile composer to work with and yeah um, actually this is the new design and you could see the new shape uh, in comparison with my natural uh, teeth because I do have the slider of uh, original teeth to be moved right and I could take away uh, my design and there are the natural, the original T's from my original scan to be placed here. If I wanted to modify my T's, my original T's, just to uh, reposition them uh, and reshape a bit, uh, I uh, could use the smile library here, just click on the smile library and it will open the list of the smile libraries we have in uh, our system and one of the libraries is original teeth library which i could reuse uh, to modify if i wanted to use any other shape from the list yeah, i could scroll it up down to pick up the right one for example i like the fabulous uh, smile library the shape of Marcus and I need to click OK to apply this uh, library to my scans. Yeah. And after that, they're gonna be here. Uh, I need to take away my original and shape my uh, teeth using the global transformation uh, the arc transformation or individual transformation tools and I could easily use any of those tools to adjust position or even change the scale, the, uh, the shape in some directions like this. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, the really good time to use our mm, uh, real view engine. On the right side of the screen, we have real view engine to open the, the picture of the patient. And this is the picture I wanted to work on. This picture is coming from our Trio software, from our smile design because I have some outlines all over my teeth and I could use this picture as a guidance for my uh, 3D design to put any teeth in the outlines here. Um, what I need to do, I need to follow step by step the workflow of the real uh, view engine. Um, I should be on the very first one, design guidelines. I need to place the two dots over my eyes 
to uh, have the uh, the horizontal line of orientation uh, of this picture uh, horizontally and vertically with any additional uh, vertical or horizontal lines i could add them here uh, just clicking on the green plus on the horizontal or vertical um, line i wanted to add and after that i am ready to come to the cut out spline of my smile yeah and this is my uh, cut out uh, spline and i wanted to start over and just show you how easy it could be done just clicking over the lips and connect the last point with the first one if we need to do correction like this we could just draw it to do correction or click nearby to correct the spline uh, position yeah after that i need to come to the uh, alignment step click on the sort one and yeah here i need to uh, place the four pairs of the dots over the picture and over the 3d scan to make alignment uh, over my outlines and i could use any uh, sculpt tool kits to adjust them just like to move them inside of the outlines to make sure i have the the proper position according to the picture it could be done uh, like this or using any other tools like morphing tool and i could uh, adjust the the edge of my teeth using the morphing tool here yeah okay and uh, what is really good i uh, could place this uh, red square over my uh, teeth and activate the shade the shade uh, the very last option uh, here on the right side of the screen to transfer the shade from picture to 3d design and if i place it over some lips for example you could see my teeth are in red color which means i need to really define where uh, i wanna to uh, transfer the color from and modify design in 3d view if we need and also we have this face scan to be uh, uh, placed over my uh, surface scan over my trio scan with the cover and i could easily rotate my face over the screen and maybe i need to uh, adjust it with my sculpt toolkit tools to make them longer for example and show <laughs> yeah and show everything to uh, to the patient uh, just taking video of the screen or taking the snapshots uh, screenshots of the screen as well yeah uh, face scan uh, to uh, make some orientation during my uh, virtual uh, articulation steps and i could activate my uh, uh, articulator and uh, place my articulator in the right position according to the uh, face guides i do have coming from the Embellus 3D app. This is some kind of the virtual face ball we could use with Embellus 3D app, which is pretty amazing. After the right placement, I could take away the face scan and the guides and use my virtual articulator with the lower jaw and uh, let's switch off color uh, to start uh, the, the motion um, the excursions 
to see how it will make effect over my uh, teeth. And yeah, some areas of, of design uh, are hidden by my lower jaw and what I uh, will do, I just can uh, click adapt design to uh, adapt it, but it could destroy my facial surface a bit, my aesthetic, and I could do it manually, I could undo it and use my wax knife or any other tools to easily adjust it uh, manually with adding or removing material over the uh, over my 3D design. Or I could maybe, it's much easier, just tilt it out a bit to keep the same shape and start uh, articulation again. And now my centrals are hitting much less and still on the lateral and we could tilt out it. One more time. Model here to open the model builder and go through the steps of the model builder. Uh, uh, the design step of the model builder. And here uh, we have the, the virtual bases to be uh, attached to the scans. And because we, we do need only one uh, model, we need only upper one. We don't need the lower one because uh, it's just antagonist and we need to, uh, to use our upper jaw upper model uh, in, uh, for, for our mock-up technique. It means we don't need to take care about the antagonist. We could switch them off. And here we have the articulator settings. We need to choose the right articulator uh, base here. And we have plenty of them. But if we wanna to save the material, we need just to use none and some time. And now we have them here. We could take away the, uh, the T's and oh, wrong way. And we have our upper jaw with the T's, with the new shape and new position of the T's all over the model as a one piece. If we need to sculpt over the upper jaw, for example, we could click on this sculpt uh, upper jaw and pick up the wax knife or morphine tool, or use some attachments or a plain cut uh, to uh, smooth out some areas like this uh, to have the nice uh, scan all over the, and uh, nice design all over the scan. And we are ready to close this, in this case, and generate cam output. It's gonna be done in a couple of seconds. And I will right click and go to advanced to generate cam output here. I'll, and use for any uh, printer to print out this model and use your section uh, unit, section machine, or just take an impression from this model to make delivery of, of this new position and new shape of the T's into the patient mouse. You could uh, extract the natural, uh, the original T's, you could make preparation over the original T's, you could combine the two actions um, just to, uh, to add in this uh, new shape and new position of the teeth in the patient mouse. And you will fill in this uh, suction tray um, uh, by the temporary uh, acrylic material and deliver it uh, to the patient mouse over the prepara prepared teeth um, and uh, polish it uh, after that. 